Many of the most renowned environmental cardiological researchers consider Louisville, Kentucky, the coronary valley of our country. That means that because of our very, very unhealthy air, we in fact have the largest stats on health problems. We're located in the Ohio River Valley, which means air gets stuck here from time to time, which means it can be a little bit more polluted than some of the other parts of the country. So we've got to look at ways to mitigate that, both on a large-scale basis, but then on an individual basis. The environment has a very strong impact on human health. So about 80% of heart disease and about 70% of diabetes is in principle environmental, which means that it is preventable. Our tree canopy is rapidly deteriorating. We know that trees bring us better air, better stormwater runoff, improve the environment, improve the way people just feel about their neighborhoods. Trees have this really amazing ability to clean the air that we breathe. And we know that planting the right trees in the right places can filter car exhaust and other kinds of air pollution, which can then have a positive impact on our health. We know very well from many, many different studies that whenever there is an increase in greenery, that there is increase in health symptoms, people report better mood, they are much more outside, they feel happy about their environment. But there's never been, at least to our knowledge, a detailed, rigorous study in which we can quantify the effects of greening of an urban environment in terms of health outcomes. The Green Heart Louisville Project is like a clinical trial for nature. We're working with city planners to show them the benefits that nature can have on the citizens in their city. We're working with partners to make neighborhoods greener so that medical researchers can document the benefits of living in a neighborhood with more nature and compare that to the health of people living in similar neighborhoods where we haven't yet planted trees. This will be the first attempt to really understand that is this a viable therapy? Is it a viable preventive strategy that we could deploy in other parts of the world? It's really exciting bringing science together with the citizens, with our political leadership, with our not-for-profit leadership, and together with our corporate leadership so that we have an incredibly strong, passionate group of partners that are going to learn on this journey what science can bring to the conversation of health. What's exciting about working with the Nature Conservancy on this is scaling up a lot of this innovation that we've been doing in our city uh, to a size that we hadn't imagined before. But then understanding and knowing what I think will be the impact of that on our citizens and the increased quality of life that they're going to have as a result of that, I mean, I really like that as a mayor. Okay, but then I also really like the fact that we can share that with cities all over the world. Because let's face it, there's thousands of cities that are struggling with air pollution right now. We need to come up with simple solutions for them. Let's be effective, let's do it with nature.